Will singing sex ed questions make them less embarrassing? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Who said that? What? All I see is a floating LL Bean tag. <laughs> it's me, man. I'm here. Hey, oh, hey, Link. I'm here. I'm just going ahead and saying that because that's what 70% of the comments are gonna be. Oh. I just wanna get ahead of it, you know, get in front of it. It's because over. Because when you wear camo, that's what people say. Is that, ladies love bean. Okay. <laughs> Today's episode was initially created with a special singing celebrity guest in mind whose name was Josh. But at the last minute, and this is for reals, uh, something came up for that Josh and he couldn't make it today. So instead of that Josh, we got the next best thing. Our Josh! Our Josh! <laughs> All right, Josh, welcome. Put him in the middle, Josh is in the middle, man. Mythical, no, I was told to put him here. Uh, okay. All right. Mythical Do chef, what Josh! Hi. <laughs> hey, Josh. Thanks for being willing to come here knowing nothing about what's happening, right? I've heard I'm supposed to sing. Uh, can you sing, and are you comfortable talking about sex education? I'm much more comfortable talking about sex education than I am singing. I've never gotten booed off stage for talking about sex education. But you have for singing. Yeah, it was a, it was a karaoke. I was doing a song by The Offspring. And... Oh, you got booed off of a karaoke stage? This yeah. is gonna go great. It... It's time for Sing Me a Song All Pretty and Nice, but could you make it about the dangers of pubic lice? The mythical crew has turned the internet upside down searching for the most embarrassing real life questions ever asked in sex ed classes. And they showed up on message boards, subreddits, magazine articles, whatever. And then they've grouped them together, all of these real questions, and put them into categories. So we've got these two graduation caps. Uh, one cap has categories of questions that were actually asked in sex ed class. Yes. Uh, and the other has different genres of, you guessed it, royalty-free music nice. tracks. <laughs> and Any so, Offspring-esque stuff in here maybe. For hopefully, you. yeah. God, I hope so. So once we have our categories and our genres, we're gonna step over to the mic, we're gonna sing the lyrics, which are really just the embarrassing questions that were asked in those classes as they are revealed to us. Josh, we're not gonna make you go first. Thank you. Unless you want to. We're gonna show you how this is done. I, I wanna see the pros do it first. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Yeah, you go first. I don't wanna go first. This is the category, the category, which is going to be body hair. Body hair. I have that. But you didn't always. No, no I was born with body hair. As you were getting it, there were lots of questions. Uh, I remember my first. Uh, the universe is trying to tell me something. 80s hair metal. All right, body head on hair, over there. 80s hair metal. <laughs> Okay, 80s hair metal, I've got hair, hit it. I heard you kids got some questions about sex. <laughs> Let me hear them, boys and girls. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. If both partners have long pubes, can they get tangled? <laughs> and how yes. would you get them apart? Yeah. Does the hair down there go gray? And if your head goes bald, do you lose all of your pubes too? I don't know. <laughs> Is it normal to have one? <laughs> wow, it, bringing the energy for round one, that was nice. How, how, how's your voice, is, that, are you, is it gonna be like that permanently? I don't know. <laughs> well, you see, you can go to, this is a secret of ACDC, Link. Uh, what's his name, Brian Johnson? Is yeah. he the one? Sure, yeah. 
You go up and like this, and it actually isn't really doing anything to your voice. That's why he could do it night after night after night. Because this would come from a different What place. is pubic hair there for? Yeah. I think it's there for cushion. I sound like if Elmo started a metal band. And I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? I mean, and the grays, like, I, uh, I would say no, at least at this point. <laughs> hey? You don't know yet, though. Um, they can get tangled, though. It's like Velcro, you know? But that it has happen. to be to like a positive and negative charge, like Velcro. It's like if two If you rub yeah, yeah, if you rub yeah, it yeah. and you get the static then you're really If clean. someone has straight hairs and someone has curly hairs? Yeah, it's more well, it's more like if they curl if one curls right, one curls left, then they just hook and then you're stuck. You ever been in that situation? <laughs> yeah. go, to, go to the ER? <laughs> no, I'm like a dolphin, baby. <laughs> oh, that's how oh, I goodness. picture you down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I'm gonna go next and my <laughs> question is around the category of doing it. Okay. So, what is it? Straight down the line. And then my royalty free track is going to be in the style of Country Wish. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Don't blow out your voice. Class is in session. Hit it. Huh. Yeah. Round up your doggies, cause we're gonna talk about doing it. Oh yeah, <laughs> if a woman has a threesome while she has an STD, <laughs> can the STD travel through the woman and through the man and infect the third person? That's a good question. Keep it to yourself. If you in a course longer, is the baby born bigger? Yes. That's, That's a real good question. I've never thought of that. What about this one? Is oral sex when you talk about sex? And if that's true, are we doing it now? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, can you catch an STD? Over the phone. <laughs> are we doing it now? Those are real questions. Real, real questions. Those are real good questions. How long did his parents do the intercourse to grow them that big is what I'm wondering. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they may have gone double digit minutes. Yeah, good, good for them, dude. <laughs> Yeah, never thought about that. Good for them. All right, you're up. Okay. Well, take you, your oh, you're going to take your category. Oh, first. I got to take, yeah, take okay. the category. Wait, where do I? Do this right. Don't screw up right from the beginning, Josh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I have awkward. I, I have Perfect. no experience with any of that. Okay, uh, so just the awkward relates, category. So, awkward. Yeah, yeah. None of those previous then. questions were awkward. And then <laughs> and we have the offspring is pop punk. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I nice. have history with the genre. I feel pretty good about it. I we will not boo you. Yeah, no boo. Go awesome. We no, will not boo, boo me. You. Everybody out there, boo me if I deserve it. Please. Thank you. No, we're not gonna okay. boo. Not now. Okay. Go for it, All man. Right, I'm going. E everyone, please be gentle and empathetic. I'm new. We, we got you, man. Thank you. So I have no professional training of singing. All right, house band, hit it. I like that. I can get down with this. <laughs> Come on now. Fans Warped Tour 2009, we're gonna live forever. I asked, you can run out of sperm. <laughs> then everyone looked at me, knowing I'm a hardcore wanker. A girl in my seventh grade health class. She asked, do penis have cholesterol? Good question. We were having a class on nutrition. Apparently she forgot how to say peanuts. Peanuts. <laughs> Why did they make noises when having sexual intercourse? Like ooh wee ooh wee ooh. 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 Noises. Intercourse. Sexual. Hey. What? Thank you so much. I, I didn't know. You got wow. no, you brought the energy. 
You brought the energy today. Wow. Come back over here, man. Wow, Josh. Hey, man, you showed me up. That was awesome, dude. Ooh, 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 ooh. My heart was beating so fast. I tried to do the Blink-182 accent. You know, yeah, I'm we, sorry. Yeah, we can yeah. tell. Hey, yeah, man. I can tell. Hey, they're back, and now apparently you're here. <laughs> uh, I'm I, available to sing backup. I'm pretty impressed. You really, you, know, you set the bar so low for yourself, and you definitely exceeded that. I mean, the expectations were down here. Um, I mean, but I think, you know, the ball's in your court if you want to stick around for another round of this. My voice is taxed. That was it. That you was know, all I get. I kind of feel like you might need to pull a George Costanza and just everybody's clapping and smiling at you, and this is when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. out. No, I'm, I'm done now. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, you know who else is here, though? <laughs> Emily. Emily. Come on in, Emily. <laughs> I'm, so I guess I'm tapping in. Yeah. Um, that's very intimidating. You, he was slide very, on over. Oh, slide on over. He was oh, very good. <laughs> Well, you come from a family I know, of musicians. He I know this is very. Now I have to prove something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to? You want to go ahead and get it over with? <sighs> All right. Um, start over here. Start over there. You know, if you if you don't sing good, you lose the right to vote in Nashville. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's uh, so works. what is that? It says oh, it says condoms. Okay, heard of those? <laughs> okay, and this is not an actual condom. No, no, no. <laughs> don't and don't try. It. But this, I'm this gonna ha- try. This ha- what if I didn't know? <laughs> Um, <laughs> old Hollywood big band. Oh, oh! You okay. ready? Don't laugh at me, Josh. Okay, let me go. All right, here we go. Okay, we're doing condoms and old Hollywood big band. Yeah. Proceed. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. <laughs> So the teacher told us wearing two condoms <laughs> is actually less effective because oh, I'm interested. of the increased friction and a top mind in my class asked if you go fast enough, could you start a fire? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you use a Skittles bag as a condom? (laughs) Do they make chicken flavored condoms? (laughs) In an emergency, could a clown use a balloon as a condom? (laughs) Do the balls go in the condom too? (laughs) Do the balls go in the condom too? Where do they go? Where do those balls go? <laughs> Where do they go? <laughs> I love it. Uh, do the balls go in the condom too? I think that's a valid question. Almost sounds like a Christmas song. These are all, I mean, no question is a bad question in sex ed class is what I'm learning. That's true. You did a great job. Yeah, Thank that, you. Very convi- I think that was kind of my genre too. I kind of got lucky. Well, you really know the expression to make at the end of a question, too, in, oh. the, in that genre. Like, it really dis, it really disarms it, you know? <laughs> disarms it? It disarms it. Yeah. It disarms it. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go again. But first, we want to remind you that uh, Charles, uh, that's not this Charles. That's nope. uh, Link's dad, Charles. And Link, that's this Charles right here. They're going strong. New episodes of Dispatches from Myrtle Beach. More dirty jokes. More crazy stories and continued shagging, all but, from Myrtle Beach. Yeah, there's dirty jokes, but I promise it's wholesome. It's very wholesome. At the same time. It's like as wholesome as you can get with like dirty jokes that neither one of us understand. Huh. So okay. check it out. Not unlike today, I guess. Right. It's not yeah, unlike yeah, yeah, today. Yeah. My dad would love this. <laughs> I don't think the balls go into the same condom. You would get a second condom for the balls. There should be a ball condom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ball condoms now at <laughs> mythical.com. Hey, we're not above it. We can call it the cockatrice. Oh, cockatrice. Sexy science. That's my category. And my genre is adult contemporary. <gasps> okay. It's a new category. Okay. Hello, I'm a contemporary adult, (laughs) and I've got some questions for you. Hit it. (laughs) 
If sperms have tails, then why don't we If sperm don't have eyes, how do we have eyes? Why do we have eyes? Can you keep a sperm in a jar like pets? In a fish tank, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you're having sex with a girl and she farts, will your balls explode? <laughs> when the penis goes into the Virginia, does it happen quietly or click like a key in a lock? I want it to click like a key in a lock. I want to know that I'm in there. I want to have absolutely no doubt that I'm in the Virginia. <laughs> Does it click like a key in a lock? Is it Virginia the that state would... for lovers? Yeah. Too? It is. Perfect. Yeah, it would wow. be so helpful if it clicked like a lock. You know, there'd be less discussion. I don't know. It might not be great for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm. <laughs> for you. Yeah, let's make this personal, Emily. <laughs> be like, how do we unclick it? <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah. It's turn to the left. <laughs> Gotta get a, a locksmith. <laughs> a Virginia locksmith. Oh, yes. All right. I'm going to sing about erections. Oh, yay. Great. <laughs> And I'm going to sing in uh, boy band style. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't get out. Oh, no, you're locked. Oh, bring in the you're locked man. in. <laughs> Call Virginia. Hey, guys. It's me. Your sex ed cool dude is coming in to answer all your questions. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm on stage dancing in sync with no one. In sixth grade sex ed class, Jake raised his hand and asked, Can I get an erection and a boner at the same time? <laughs> and all the preteen boys started bursting out and laughed. Jake never lived that down. Oh, 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 oh. erections. A fifth grade girl asked, do erections hurt? Then the teacher said, no. Then a fifth grade boy said, yes it does if you're wearing tight jeans. If you're wearing tight jeans. Erections really hurt, I have one right now. Not me, but the kid who asked that. Oh my God. If my penis gets hard, will it break? If my penis gets hard, will it break? If my penis gets hard, will it break? break? Yes. If you bang it on a granite countertop, oh. it'll probably break. Don't bang your erection on a granite countertop when your penis gets hard. <laughs> if my penis gets hard, will it break? Oh. Very specific hey, countertop. Listen, wow. I think we should drop everything, get in a van, and go across the nation to middle schools everywhere and have you sing that song. <laughs> if your penis gets hard, <laughs> it'll break. <laughs> no, no. We, Don't <laughs> let it get hard. <laughs> well, okay. Well, we got to work on the messaging a little bit. <laughs> got to uh, buy a lot of granite. <laughs> okay. I, how do they sing and dance at the same time? They're Good very, gracious. very in shape. Okay. Oh, hey, man. I, I think that worked out beautifully. Hopefully, uh, you were educated. Uh, today, or at least you know the questions that the children are asking out there these days, and the things that you need to have answers to. If you've got teens in your life that are asking difficult questions about sex, those are the questions. It's all real. Thanks to Emily, incredible job, and thank, thank you, you to Josh. Josh, man, <laughs> so good. So yeah. I have subway tile countertops, so it doesn't break. That's right. <laughs> It's right. hard to clean, though. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You guys say you know what time it is. You, you know, know what time, time it is. is. I'm Amanda Zarnowski. And I'm Mari Colorado. We're 
from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we just graduated. And yes. now it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Congratulations! Woo! It's all downhill from there. No, it's no, not. no, it's great. No, it's great. Click the top link to watch us play Would You Rather Prom Edition and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Check out Link and his dad Charles in the latest episode of Dispatches from Myrtle Beach. The season's filled with even more dirty jokes, funny stories, and of course, shagging.